Hey, Doc. Yes. My gallbladder was removed. Ooh. Now I don't feel good. Yeah. Um, do, people don't realize this, that gallbladder is still one of the top surgeries done every year in the United States. And they're wrong. I've actually literally seen x-rays where the stones are so large. I was like, oh my goodness, I can imagine the pain that they're in. I'm not disagreeing that it might have to be taken out. You have to have that conversation with you and your doctor. But I do see that a lot of them are removed that could probably be helped, okay? But now this person that removed, now remember, you gotta understand the purpose of the gallbladder. People say, well, it's just a storage unit. Well, that's not really true. Uh, storage is one of its functions, but it's a very highly sensitive organ that recognizes when bile needs to be released for the emulsification of fats. I want you to picture Dawn dish soap and you have glass water with grease on top. You put Dawn dish soap in it, it breaks the fat apart and kind of becomes part of the water. And then you can see less of the fat there. Well, when you eat good fats, your body needs to release the bile at a specific time. And if the timing's not there, you can eat fantastic, wonderful, beautiful fats. And even we need fat soluble vitamins like E, D, K, and E. And if you eat them, if the bile's not released at the right time, you're just gonna eliminate it and you have less chance of having all the good fat soluble vitamins and other essential fatty acids you guys need. And so it's one of the reasons why people do feel a little bit worse because they're becoming vitamin deficient. And actually, as you know, vitamin D can also relate and convert to hormonal patterns and that can affect you. So when you eat fats, if you've had a gall removed, you need to support the emulsification by taking a little bit of gallbladder support in the form of ox bile. And, and, and also I do like, you know, beetroot and other things that really do help um, with some release. Plus you might take some dandelion root to actually help release bile from the liver at a specific time. Uh, because there's certain herbs that do affect the liver that way also because the bile is made in the liver and stored over there and we want releasing at the right time because we don't release the right time you'll be eating good fats and not getting the massive benefit from it okay thank you you're welcome hey doc yes what supplements should i take after a gallbladder removal oh okay what i would make sure is always make sure that you have good liver health support your liver obviously because you're gonna have to still produce what you always will produce bile and then release it but when you do not have a gallbladder, I always encourage people to, when they eat a high fat meal, to add some like ox bile in there, add some artichoke, um, add some beets in there, uh, just to help with some of the emulsification um, of the fats with it when it hits the small intestine. Um, and remember, you wanna support also the pancreas because you're gonna use a lot of enzymes from the pancreas now that the gallbladder is gone. Uh, but the idea is this, is by supporting liver health, by supporting, once again, your pancreas and also taking a little bit of ox pile, um, you usually can set your body better for digestion now that you're missing your gallbladder. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Doc. Yes. I just found out that I'm full of gallstones after a CT scan. How should I avoid removal? You might not be able to avoid removal. I can honestly tell you, I've taken x-rays of people, so not even a CT, and the stones were so dense and so large that they needed it done. Now, can you do things to see if you can get them to pass? That might be, might be painful, but you can do things like dandelion root. You can do things like tudka, and I do those in combination. Tudka is basically capital T-U-D-C-A, and also acidify the stomach, make the environment very good so when the stomach moves, uh, opens and moves into the small intestine that there is a massive release of bile, and therefore you're gonna release and get some of those stones to move out, might, but it might be painful, it really might. So I do is I acidify the stomach, I would support the body with um, dandelion root and also tudka, and then see what can be done. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey everyone, for unedited, full length, unapologetic content, go to my website, drpatrickflynn.com. Hit the subscribe button to join our community for more amazing content like this every day.